Hey everybody, I'm Stacy Lynn and I am at the Purple Door today. So I'm cutting an onion up because in just a few minutes we are going to have the best hush puppies ever. I absolutely love, love, love hush puppies. And I made them a couple of weeks ago for y'all, but um, I have gotten more requests for the recipe. So I'm gonna get this recipe up and probably by the time this video goes live, I will have the, the recipe either in the text of this or on my website. So you can make your own hush puppies. So the, things, the thing is that the beaches are opening up. It's snapper season right now. A lot of you fish, a lot of you hunt. There seems to be a meat shortage lately. Um, and I don't know you know, really what all that's about. I really do need to look into that. We don't have a meat shortage, but that's because we hunt and we get wild boar, venison, fish, you know, and all that kind of thing. But these hush puppies would be great just in a meal by themselves. So if you go on a fishing trip and you don't get them, you know what? Just feast on hush puppies all night long. And you can also put cheese in them. You could put bacon in them, which I'm not doing right now, but you could do that. So that would be an amazing, um, an amazing hush puppy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two cups of self-rising cornmeal. Now I will tell you that when you make cornbread from corn, you know, with cornmeal, I like the self-rising. I think it's the best. You can make um, from all-purpose flour and all-purpose cornmeal. You can make your own you know, obviously, but I think that it's the best this way. So I've done two cups of cornmeal and I'm gonna do a half of a cup of flour. Okay, so the only things you would need to add to all purpose would be a little bit of baking soda and salt. And I will be adding salt to this. So I've got a half of a cup to two cups of cornmeal. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in and a little bit of pepper. So about a tablespoon and then about a, a teaspoon of pepper. And then, so I'm gonna mix that up really good and make sure everything's broken up really good in the dry ingredients. Here we go. All right, then I'm not gonna add the liquid yet because I don't, I don't like to mix the liquid in um, until I have everything in here because I'm gonna let it kind of sit for a minute and it kind of bubbles up because I'm using this awesome buttermilk. And to me, anything made with buttermilk is amazing. So buttermilk biscuits, buttermilk everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put, I've got a half, half bell pepper, half um, jalapeno. I've got my onion going in here. And obviously you can double and triple this recipe and it will be great. Okay, and I've got my eggs from my Americana and I'll put that in in just a minute. And I'm also gonna put some corn in here. And I like a lot of corn in mine. You don't have to put it in yours at all. I've also got some cheddar cheese. Last week, I think I used Monterey Jack. I use just about anything. So I'm gonna give this a good stir so that I don't have to stir it up a lot when I put my egg in and my buttermilk. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add about a cup of buttermilk. And you're looking for a pancake, um, kind of like a pancake, cornbread consistency. So that's about it. Normally I just do this by sight and some days it's really weird because it needs more liquid than other times and that seems awfully strange but I'm wondering if that's due sometimes to the weather because I know my meringues don't work whenever the weather is humid outside. So I'm just going to pour that in. Now I may end up needing a little bit more. We'll see after it's stirred and I'm going to go ahead and put my egg in because I want to see the consistency right after everything gets wet. So I think I'm going to use this egg. It's a large egg, and it is from the one of the um, one of the barred rocks, I think. And these beautiful greenish eggs come from our Americanas, so they are really awesome. If you don't keep chickens, you need to watch my chicken video and you really need to start keeping chickens. They're super easy, you'll love them. They all have a different personality and um, they produce the most beautiful, wonderful eggs. Now, I am not mixing that yet with all of my flour. I am just pretty much getting it in there where that egg is totally mixed up. So I'm not having to break that up in another dish. All right, so now I'm just gonna fold all of this together 
and I have my oil going at 175 degrees, and I'm gonna check that in just a minute. You don't want it too hot, but you certainly don't want it too cool. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna need a little bit more buttermilk here in just a second. Okay, so if I didn't put the corn in, it would look more like a cornbread mixture, but I sometimes will put, um, I'll put corn in my cornbread and bacon and all kinds of stuff. So this would be really super great with bacon. So we are going back to work tomorrow. We haven't done a ton here at the Purple Door. And um, because my next thing to do is artwork and supply stores have not been open. So we haven't gotten to do that. And we're gonna be putting a porch on the outside of this place soon. And I want y'all to be involved in that. But I really wanted to teach you how to do these hush puppies because they are so good. I cannot keep this to myself. Okay, so I've got it about the right consistency. Sometimes I want it a little bit lighter than this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try a couple of these and see. I'm still getting a lot of dry ingredients from the bottom. I don't like, I'm gonna put just a little bit more buttermilk. So I'm thinking it's more like three quarters of a cup to a cup, at least with this, okay? All right, and then I normally like to let it sit here for about 15 minutes to let all of the ingredients kind of meld together and to give it that rise with that buttermilk. But I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so I normally would do this with an ice cream scoop, but I got the wrong one from home today. We're at the purple door and I don't have the ice cream scoops quite yet. So I am gonna be using two spoons. So I'm gonna try to make this, let's see, about that size. So it's about a tablespoon, and I want it to be in a nice ball, but it doesn't matter if it isn't. So I'm just gonna plop that down in here. There we go. All right, let that go for a minute. Get the next one. Okay. Cut that off just a little bit, and this will be super good. Look at how yummy that looks. Okay, I don't wanna get splattered for sure. Y'all be careful making these. Alrighty, see, they're looking pretty good. They're kind of spreading out just a little bit. I think that's fine though. They're gonna taste amazing. Of course, the ice cream scoop would do the trick. All right, so I hope y'all are all employed or will soon be. I don't know how many of y'all got laid off. I know that we, man, it's been something. Um, and we're starting back day at, tomorrow and because of that um we've got a lot of new rules to follow and i am a little bit nervous about it i'm not really sleeping all that good i have to just really pray about it and hope that there we go uh, oh i forgot to tell you this i think i may have told you but i'm not sure but this oil is 375 degrees if it drops to 350 that's fine i'm gonna check now and see because i may need to turn this down they're looking really good though. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. All right, just about right. Okay, all right, so now I think they're about ready. I'm gonna go ahead and turn, one, turn them over and make sure that they get brown and crisp all over. That cheese is really gonna give a lot of moisture in these and I think that, um, Man, when you eat one, you have to eat like a hundred of these. It's crazy. So we are gonna go and have our last hurrah of not, you know, working because we're gonna be full steam ahead. And I don't know if you've been watching my um, interior design of the new renovated office, but y'all doing an art deco deal and it's really, really pretty cool. So if you're not watching, try to go back to the playlist. And I did one the other day um, called Office Renovation. I've done some in the purple door. I need to go relabel those, but I'm doing navy blue walls, but then really bright, sterile looking operatories. So that's gonna be a really cool, um, hopefully a really cool look. I'm kind of nervous about it because it is gonna be kind of dark, but I am looking forward to it. And as you know here, I've done it all light. Really, really a beautiful white. But there, I found the prettiest lavender color 
that I just adore. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more. And as you can see, the consistency is a little bit different than it was when I first made these. It's kind of gotten a little bit airier and bubbly. So after you get it like you want it, um, you're not gonna, after you let it rest, you're not gonna wanna stir it again. So that's like a trick that, you know, you may not hear. There we go, okay. Some people like to put red onion in theirs. Some people like to put a little bit of sugar in there. And, um, and that's all good and fine too. A lot of people like their cornbread sweet. I am not a person that likes to mix my sweet. Whoa, I almost got burned on that one. I'm not a person that likes to mix the, my sweet and savory together. I don't really like sugar in anything, except every once in a while, I think it's really good when you're making um, like tomato-based things to add a little sugar. But especially, and I have to tell y'all this story, but especially gravy. Oh my gosh. My stepdad and my mom took me to the Grand Canyon, and I was used to going by my school and eating these hearty, um, Hardy's gravy and biscuits. Well, they are they were so good, and I was expecting that that's what I was going to get when I went to the Hardy's um, in wherever the Grand when we were visiting the Grand Canyon. And when I did, um, I was so disappointed. It was like eating sugar gravy all on top of my biscuit. It was so awful. So I don't I don't like sugar in my food. So I'm sure I told you that a minute ago, but. Now I've reiterated it with why. So I was, I have never been so disappointed. So I do like my food to taste like real food. And I was used to the white gravy with no sugar. And it already has a little sweetness because of the sweet milk, which my grandmother called it. But you know, milk is pretty sweet. I don't know if you've ever thought about that before, but I think that's why babies love, love their milk. All right, so let me show y'all one of these and then I will get those out. So this right here, Look at that, with that cheese. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at how delicious that is gonna be. I hope you're getting a good look at that. Oh, you've gotta make these, y'all. I'll have the recipe up. Make them this weekend and give me your honest opinion. It can't be anything except for these things are scrumptious. So y'all have a great week. Enjoy your week, enjoy every day. Enjoy your kids, your husband, your family everybody in it and i will see you next week and i hope i will have some artwork done talk to you soon bye